Hey YouTube, it's Airsoft Team Raider 64 back again here with another unboxing of a collector's edition here. Uh, tonight they had a double minute at release for the Battlefield 4 and for this Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, you know, for the PS3, you know, whatever. But um, here it is, here it is very highly anticipated as was Battlefield 4, but this here is a limited edition and um, only on PlayStation 3, 60 minutes of additional gameplay as was the limited edition for Assassin's Creed 3. Anyways, there's the front of the box there. Uh, here is the side. Here is the back. And here is the other side, which is the same as that side. So, uh, limited edition. Um, collectible 18-inch Captain Edward Kenway figurine, which is that guy there. Uh, exclusive 80-page art book. 28 by 48 iconic pirate flag with crest, which is the Assassin's Creed symbol. Official soundtrack. Well, I guess it's on digital. Steelbook game case. Yes, it comes with the steelbook. I like my steelbooks, guys. Anyways, um, uh, there's Blackbeard, and uh, I don't know who this guy is, but uh, you know, there's other main characters in the game. Unite under the black flag, and rich open world playground. Of course, it's Assassin's Creed, so it's going to be open world. Uh, enhanced naval gameplay. And award-winning multiplayer. You know, I don't really, I don't really like the uh, in any of the Assassin's Creed uh, multiplayer. I know people are gonna disagree with me on that, maybe even insult me, but I just, I, I never play a multiplayer for the Assassin's Creed. Because there's so much other crap that you can do, you don't even, I don't know. But uh, does mind ever buying season passes or whatnot? So map pack stuff like that. So, um, anyways, uh, here was the top. Not, not much to it. And here is the bottom. So let's go ahead and get on with this unboxing here. Here it is right here. And uh, I'm gonna do the knife towards me. Oh, oh wait, oh wait. Alright. It's over here too. Alright. That should be it. Here, very anticipated for this uh, collector's edition. There's the bat. Uh, the same picture is on the plastic part. You know, there's Edward Kenway there. Very, very nice artwork. Very nice box. Very good condition. You know me. I uh, like take very good care of my boxes, and whatnot. So, anyways, go ahead and get on with this unboxing. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up here. Go ahead and help me out there. This is what you, which is what you're gonna see when you open the when you open up the box. Go ahead and move that over there. Um, Sass Creed uh, Black Flag Buccaneer Edition. And I guess it tells you what, how to install. I mean, not how to install, but how to uh, you know put together a little figurine of uh, Edward Kenway hanging off of his uh, you know pole there, or whatever. So you know, there it is. It's uh, you know holding on there on his on his ship. And this is what you're going to see. There's the main part there. Uh, it is the Edward Kenway figurine. And this way, a very similar setup to the AC3 limited edition. Except this was white. Let's go and take that on out there and see what she said. Oh, there we go. All right. This is what you're going to see. And there is nothing else in the box except for the main part there. We'll get to that here in a second. I'm going to move that to the side a little bit. And this is what you're going to see when... Oops. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, this is what you're going to see when you open it up. Ta-da, there is the black flag there. Uh, it does have the crest on there, you know, the Sass Creed symbol. There's the art book, and here is the steel book. Awesome, beautiful steel book, look at that. Nice, beautiful Sass Creed 4 black flag, and there's Edward Kenway there. Awesome, nice steel book. Let's set that to the side. We'll open that up at last, as we always do. Here is, um, here's the art book here. You know, the AC3 had George Washington's journal or not, which it was an art book, but it's supposed to be his journal. Uh, this is this one here, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. You know, it's your standard art book. There's the back. It's the art of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, Ubisoft. So, uh, here it is. You can open it up. Standard art book. I'm not going to go in depth or uh, into detail about the art book because, you know, it's your standard art book. 
Abstergo, you know, there's chapters, whatnot. Uh, it's going to open up a little bit, though. Uh, you know, standard art book, like I said. Beautiful artwork, of course, Havana. Hmm. Uh, I guess you can explore there. Yeah, Cuba. Um, you know, not much to it. You know, sharks, whatnot. I see a lot of videos online. You can be, you know, fighting sea creatures or whatnot. I don't know if it's going to be Easter eggs or whatnot, but no telling how many there's going to be. And uh, there's just sores or whatnot. You know, it's just standard art book, like I said. I'm not going to go into detail because uh, we're going to be moving on. Um, black beard there. So, you know, very nice, very good art book, you know. And here it is with the... Um, with the black flag there so we're gonna take take that on now oh. all right here it is right here go ahead help, help me okay now i got it i think I got it. yeah yeah okay damn it i kind of ripped it up oh well here it is here's the black flag there let's go ahead and take it on now da, 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 da. go ahead and help me out sir okay whoa yeah, it's very similar to the 13 colonies flag of uh, Sass Creed 3 with the Chris and whatnot. But this, of course, is the black flag, hence the name of the game. Uh, it's pretty massive and uh, the measurements and whatnot, uh, I'm not quite sure. But it's pretty much the same size as the, the colonial 13 colonies flag of the Sass Creed 3. But it's nice, you know, black flag, part flag, whatnot. So, and the same thing on the other side, guys. So, uh, it's pretty massive whatnot. So, let's go ahead and uh, put that to the side. And we're gonna go and continue on with this unboxing. But the main part here. Uh, I just want to take on out the figurine. Yeah, we'll get away there. I'm gonna need your help though, said to uh, set them up. Uh, yeah, so. And we're gonna use these instructions really quick to help me set them up. But uh, here he is, right there. There's Edward Kenway. There's pretty mat, pretty big statue uh, compared to Connor. But Connor was sitting like on a little mountain or something like that. But uh, here, here he is, he's there with Kenway, so let's go ahead and take him on now, and, uh, and not really uh, you know, assemble him or whatever, but, uh, let's see. Alright, let's take it on there. It's a sword. I know that's the sword there, we're going to be taking it out, that's what she said, but, uh, yeah. I'm going to take on that sword there, is it? What, what's holding him? Something holding him. So it's gonna go in his hand, obviously. So, gonna continue on cutting the tape here. Oh, I, don't know. Oh, I think that's it. Right, I don't need to cut that piece of tape, but let's go ahead and let me take this this on out right there, sit. Take all that stuff out. Was, was, oh darn it. Cut in there. Okay, no, no, wait, wait, it's, 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 uh, it's, uh, set it to the side. Where's the tape down there? Yeah, I see, I see, I see, I see. Alright, go ahead, uh, yeah, him right there. Let's go ahead and cut this stuff right here. Oh, it says ties, go ahead and ties. So I'm not gonna cut it up too much. I already mangled that bag with the hold that held the black flag, so I don't like to do that. But I have a choice this time because it didn't, uh, un you know, unpackage with ease. So, uh, yeah, you can help me here in a sec. Uh, okay, yeah, now I'll go ahead and take the take things off, take all that stuff out, so we can assemble him and put this, wrap up this video, so we can go ahead and start playing the game. Um, Battlefield 4. I don't know which I'm gonna play first.
I'll set it to the side over there. Here's your camera. Here he is. Ta-da! Pretty good detail there. Uh, very, very nice craftsmanship, whatnot. Uh, as was the Connor, but the Connor I think was a little better. Personally, I think, but uh, here we go. Go ahead and use this, see how to install it. Go ahead and take that, uh, you know. Step one, you're gonna put the shit in his hand. Step two, you're gonna put the damn thing. Stick it in the hole. It goes in his hand, I guess. I might not even do fuck with the rope, but uh. Want to put the rope up, or? Um. Step one. Da da da. I'm just gonna go. Uh, put the sword. I'm gonna put the sword in his hand. Oh, she has a Which one? hidden blade. What's hmm? Which one? Check it out. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. Is that right? Or is it the other way? Is that right? What? Or is that the other way? Mm-hmm. doesn't look right. Oh, okay, I see it right here. Yeah, it was right, it was right. Oh, wait a minute. No, it no it's the other way. Yeah. Okay, so there's a black flag there, that's what it came with. Oh, it's not coming up. I'm gonna break anything. Hey, 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 Alright, yeah, there it is. Uh, we're probably not gonna do the rope, guys. You know, but uh, this is how it goes. There, uh, you know, the rope comes down from. It starts from there, I guess, according to the picture. I guess that's what holds him. Yeah, so like he's sliding down. You know what I mean? Uh, so unless you wanna, you know, we ain't got time for all that to tie the rope. And you know, but where's the rope? Let's go ahead and just try to tie it. And what you're gonna do is, uh, yeah. How does, wait a minute. Goes to his hand, yeah, it goes inside the hand. Yeah, there you go. And just back, yeah, just wrap it around a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'll, I'll, I'll cut it with those jokes. I mean, people insult me constantly over that, but uh, you know, you're pretty much, yeah, like that. You know, it's gonna tie down there, wrap it around the a few times around the yeah, the bottom there. Not yeah, it's all good, man. It's all good. But you know, you see, you see how it's gonna go. You know, this wraps around there as a hole there, and you know he's sliding down or whatnot. Did you get the statue real good? Yeah. According to the instructions, so you know, I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna set him up. I'm gonna put him right back in the box and uh, and and uh, put away for storage. But uh, you know, you see see the effect there. You know, the rope he's sliding down or whatever. Um, the black flag there. So uh, you know, here's from that view right there. Uh, here's from the back view, and then we're gonna do and turn them around here. Yeah, we can't wait. That was the main part of the collector's edition. Uh, so let's go ahead and open the steel book as we always do, and we're gonna wrap this video up. Uh, here's the steel book again, and then but says create black flag for the PS4. I am gonna be upgrading as well, but uh, oh wow, what's this other disc? Get the PS4 digital version of Assassin's Creed for ten or whatever. Um, I guess it's like, oh, it's a soundtrack. That's right. So, you know, you're standing, you know, when you open the game, um, you know, so this was a still book. It's a very, very beautiful still book here. Um, so, uh, let's go ahead and wrap this video on up. You know, be uh, on the lookout next week. Got another man I release, uh, Lord Willie, uh, for the, uh, I will be able to attend for the Call of Duty Ghost Prestige Edition. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, in the middle of the month, of course, the PS4 does come out. I am very high, I'm highly anticipating the PS4, whatnot. So here it is again, guys. This was the uh, Sass Creed 4 Black Flag Limited Edition. And let's go ahead and take a look at the box that I did come in really quick. There's right there, very beautiful collector's box. 
So, um, this Airsoft Team Raiders 6-4, and we are signing off.